Hey Simmers, Muir here. Today, we're diving into the latest update for The Sims 4, which dropped on June 6th, 2024. Unlike the previous update that introduced the exciting and controversial events system, this one focuses on some housekeeping. Okay, it focuses on a little bit of controversial housekeeping related to the event system. Let's, let's get into this. First up, let's talk about installing the update. You can download it through the official launchers depending on your platform. EA App, Origin, Steam for PC or Mac, and Epic Games if you're on PC as well. PlayStation 4 and 5, Xbox One, and Xbox Series X and X are your consoles that The Sims 4 is available on. Most of the time, the update will download automatically, but if you're feeling impatient or the update hasn't downloaded for some reason, you can always check for updates manually. And a quick tip, if you're on PC and the EA app is acting up, try clearing your app cache. What exactly does this update fix? Let's look at the official EA blog post and take a look. The main focus of this update seems to be ironing out wrinkles with the recent Happy at Home login event. As I previously reported on in another video, players were able to access rewards from the Happy at Home login event before actually officially unlocking them. This update addresses these exploits, ensuring that everyone plays fair and enjoys the event as the devs intended. The update also squashes the bug related to the DirectX 11 preview. Some players using this feature have been experiencing crashes when MSAA was enabled, but it seems like they have resolved this problem. So taking a closer look at the official patch notes, a tooltip error with the Gearden Goods vending machine which is one of the Happy at Home login events rewards, has been fixed. The practice mate's perfect trait is no longer accessible by randomizing your Sims traits and create a Sim before unlocking it through the login event. This applies to all Sims, including those who age up. <laughs> the buffs associated with the trait will also now function correctly as well. Login event rewards, both in Create a Sim and Build Node, were sometimes appearing when they shouldn't have via the use of various filters in-game, and the update has ensured that they remain locked until they are officially unlocked through logging in at the correct time in the game. We can't have all the nice things, can we? A pull interaction bug ca causing Sims to reset has been squashed. And that's the last exception error here. There was a problem with that could cause text to be missing when opening the Happy at Home login event in Spanish, and that's been fixed. And finally, they've updated the names and descriptions of some of the flowers in-game to reflect the variety of colors that they were available in. So overall, this update is about ensuring a smooth and fair gameplay experience for everyone across the board. No more sneaky trait unlocks, sadly, or missing text, which is good. So fire up your game, download the update. For PC, the new version number is 1.107.151.1020. For Mac, it's 1.107.151.1230. And for console, the new game version number is 1.93. Once you've updated the game, you'll be able to enjoy the Happy at Home login event the way the devs intended. So my friends, have you encountered any of the bugs that this update fixed? Uh, let me know in the comments below. And while we're here... Please let me know what kind of content you would like to see in the future. Normally, I leave this up to the land grab membership tier here on the channel, but I'm going to open open it up to you this time. So are you interested in more login event discussions, more build challenges, in-depth character creation guides, maybe some guides on custom content and mods? Let me know in the comments and I will get to work on it. And as always, my friends, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.